Okay, hello guys, good evening. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Well, let me just share something with you. One moment, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, we're going to start now. I know we're just three students. We're going to do a, a recap, a recap about the uh, comparatives and superlatives. Okay, just to do a recap and then we're going to do an exercise. Now, just to make a review, and I'm sorry that I'm going to repeat this. I know that you already know, guys, uh, but you never know. Nunca se sabe when someone forget what is a comparative and what is a superlative. Nunca se sabe quien olvida que es un comparativo y un superlativo. And that is because I'm an elementary teacher, so maestra parvularia, and I just have to do this. So, we have the comparative, that it means we have two. We have a comparison, yes, between the one and between this one. So, for example, this is, uh, it could be like one student, Yes, and there is another student. We're making a comparison between these two, okay? So it could be like, uh, Mauricio is taller than, uh, I don't know, than who? Let me see, than Mario, okay? Mauricio is taller than Mario. I'm making comparison between two. The word, the, the word then, la palabra, then, it is helping us. Nos ayuda. It is helping us to make a comparison. Comparativos, it means that there are two. And superlatives, and superlatives, it is the most. For example, if I use a uh, tallest, it's just an example. Mario is the, or who else here? Let me see. Or she's going to use Carla, yes, Carla. Carla, and it could be John, okay, because she is John, or Carla, or I don't know who is per, another person, Linares, I think that was another John, okay? Yes, I think that Linares was John, okay? Linares is the youngest, because we have John here, 
in this one syllable, John, one syllable, Hoya. Okay, we're going to make a comparison. Okay, let me see. Um, I'm going to do the comparison with Israel. Okay, Carla is younger than, I'm making a comparison, is younger than, okay, than, uh, what? Than Israel. Okay, Carla is younger than Israel. I am making a comparison. Y esta conexión, this is a connection that is helping us. Superlative, it is, means between all, entre tantos, that's the super, okay? Exactly, it is exactly por el que se destaca, okay? That's the only one. Ese es el tal como es el mejor, el mejor, pero sí, el que más se destaca. So, Linares is the youngest student in the class. Okay, now, when we use superlative, we must use the noun. For example, the youngest what? The youngest doctor? The youngest teacher? The youngest student? And I have to use the noun. Esto se llama noun, sustantivo. Okay, so youngest student. Now, what happened here? Remember that is for one syllable. Una syllable means just it sounds one. Tall, okay, for example, if we say intelligent, se divide in cuatro syllables. Intelligent, esas son las syllables, okay? So the tallest, the coldest, the youngest. So it says that we use EST for superlative short adjectives. Okay, now we have the other one, okay, that it says adjectives ending in E, que terminan en la E, ¿verdad? Okay, it could be like nice, terminan en la E. We are not going to say nicer, okay? We're not going to say later. No, it is not necessary. That is another one. So we just what we just have to add one letter that in this case would be letter R. Okay. Letter R for adjectives ending in E. And for adjectives ending once again in E for superlatives at the ST. Si ustedes prestan atención. Ambos se ven igual, but it's a grammatical, uh, a grammatical rule when you write. Solo es algo gramatical, ¿verdad? Okay. Now, we have the other one, the other rule. Syllables from two, de dos, de dos o más. Okay. In this case, you are not going to say, like, intelligenter. Important, okay. Particular, okay. No, why? Beautiful, three syllables. Intelligent, four syllables. Important, okay. What about? Um, let me see. Practical. Another adjective. Oh, come on! It doesn't come to my mind. Then. Okay, so basically, basicamente, we use this more to comparative and remember that we're always going to use, recuerden que siempre vamos a utilizar um, more. Esta palabrita que nos une. Why? Because it's making a connection. Esto nos une con, lo voy a poner así. Esto nos une, esta palabrita que es el den, nos une para hacer una comparación. Okay, fulano or Mauricio is more handsome than Mario. Mauricio is the most handsome man. So between all the men, it is that exactly, right? Okay, with this one, more, yes, handsome, a pesar que se escribe así, handsome, 
handsome, there are two syllables. Okay, since it says handsome, we add more handsome or the most handsome. Okay, Mauricio is the most handsome man. Okay. Now, preguntas en este momento? No, teacher. Then no, remember teacher. that we have adjectives ending in Y. Why? Yes, that is as ugly, pretty, stinky, sexy, funny. They are ending in Y. What's the rule? We omit, yes, we just omit the Y and we just change it by these two, by these three, I, E, R, okay? So in this case, it will be stinkier, a stinker, sexier, funnier, okay? Now, let me see. Okay, so for example, for you guys, no, pero ustedes la mayoría son, solo Isabel está el niño aquí, en Jason. Okay, I don't know who's Jason, but okay. For example, for you guys, man, it could be like Jennifer Aniston, it is sexier than Angelina Jolie. Okay? Jennifer Aniston is the sexiest uh, actress from all the actors. Okay? For girls, Carlos Ponce, it is, yes, it's sexier than um, it is sexier than Mauricio, okay? Or Mauricio is sexier than Carlos Ponce. And Mauricio is the sexiest man in the world. It's just an example. I have one Mauricio on my mind, okay? <laughs> so I do apologize. Um, <laughs> yes, I do apologize for that. So basically it is this. Remember to omit the why and I add I E R, okay? Always pay attention to that. Always, always take a look and pay attention to that. I don't want guys, que eso es un error muy común, that you say stinkier. Let me see. Oh, one moment. Go on sexy. Sexier. Stinky. Sexier. I don't know, sexier. Yes, it's just an example. Or that you guys just take like funnier, like this. No, remember to omit the why, okay? Please omit the why, okay? Now, for superlatives, always pay attention. I, E, S, T, okay? The same as before. And if you pay attention, most of them, the mayoría de ellos, it is ending in EST. Look at here. Tallest, nicest, okay, ugliest. ¿Cuál va a ser nuestra excepción? Always pay attention that it has two or more syllables. Handsome, two syllables. Active, two syllables. Pay attention. I don't want to say like handsomer. Activer, Jotty Fuller, okay? Just be careful. Questions? Ahorita solo es un recap, porque ya estuvimos viendo lo de los, uh, de los tiempos, ¿verdad? Los seis tiempos. Okay? Um, the other one, just as a recap, this is a review, it is the adverse. Remember that the adverse is not the same. Tengo que explicarlo también. Es mi deber, I do apologize. I know that you already know Okay, in this case, the adverse, it is expressing how do you guys do the action, okay? Como hacen la acción. It's not the same, no es lo mismo decir. An adverb, that an adjective. An adjective describes to you as a person, describes a noun, describes an animal, but an adverb, it describes the action, okay? How do you do the action, okay? For example, no quiero que aquí me pongan bright clear. Let me see. Bright, uh, bright, clear. Ojo con esto. 
Just always analyze and think who is an adverb, which is an adverb, and which is an adjective. Bright clear, no existe person. Yes, teacher, but it's ending in Y. Guys, remember this rule. It is an adverb, so please be careful. Okay. So that's how we use here must, right? Most quickly uh, or more quickly. Okay. We have another one that is the words ending in consonant, vowel, consonant. I'm sorry, just like I said, but it's always I have to explain. Nunca se sabe. And I'm an elementary teacher, so maestra parvula. So, consonant, vowel, consonant. Vowels, there's just five, okay? It is A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. Yes, there are the vowels. The rest of the letters are consonant. So it says consonant, it is B, okay? Bubble, that it means this will be I, and consonant, yes? Y de donde sacó esto? ¿Por qué no dicen Bigger? Siempre ojo al dato este, que también es importante, por favor. Okay, I don't want to you guys listen more bigger, okay? No, tampoco. I just, you pay attention no, 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 no. to double the last letter, okay? You have to double. Tienen que doblar, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, just to duplicar la última letra, ¿verdad? Okay? Basically, it's that. Duplicar la última letra. One moment, please. Okay. Sadder, saddest. Remember to double the last letter. By the other hand, también tenemos de, así como tenemos los irregular verbs, we also have here the irregular adjectives. Yes, adjectives. Okay. In this case, tienen que memorizarse también that it will be bad, worse, and worst. Okay. For example, I could say like, uh, and I'm pretty sure, it's completely sure, that I'm the worst person in on math in this class. Soy la peor persona por esa persona. Yes, imagine that I'm a student. The worst student on math in the class. Soy el peor estudiante de matemática en la clase. Okay. Probably, let me see who is this one. Creo que Esperanza. Yes, no, Lorena. And probably, yes, uh -huh. Lorena is, yes, is the best student on math. Okay, la mejor estudiante en matemática. Or is the best person here on uh, math. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that Tania is better than me on math. It could be an example, right? ¿Se comprende? Yes. yes. Okay. Then yes. we have, estos los tienen que memorizar prácticamente. Son un par de adjetivos si lo pueden buscar. Okay. Then we have far. Far, it means lejos. For example, son sonate, yes, is, no, la unión is further than son sonate. Okay. Está más lejos que son sonate, ¿verdad? From San Salvador. Okay. So talking about the distances, further, okay. Um, I don't know what else, the fortest. I don't know exactly the fortest distance. I don't know, guys. No sé cómo es el ejemplo de fortest distance. But, well, okay. Uh, let me see what another one. It could tell you, like, the biggest. Okay. Who can give me an example with a small... El Salvador and Central America. ¿Quién me puede hacer una formular una oración con eso? With small El Salvador and Central America. El Salvador. El Salvador. Than smaller than Central America. No. Central America is the continent. El Salvador is a country. 
El Salvador is the smallest in Central America. The smallest. El Salvador is the smallest country in the Central smallest. America. Yes, do you remember? Ojo oh, al well, dato, exactamente lo que les dije. Remember to use the noun. Because, for example, if I say, uh, like, let me see, is the, uh, the most intelligent, it could be an example. It's just an example, but for the context. The most intelligent animal, the most intelligent uh, person, Yes, so that's why you have to specify. Por eso. Okay, for example, I cannot, I can say um, like Mauricio is the most intelligent in this classroom. The most intelligent animal? No, 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 no. That's why it says the most intelligent, Mauricio is the most intelligent student. Mauricio is not a student. No, then. Okay, imagine just. Uh, Mauricio is the most intelligent doctor? No. Imagine that this person is an engineer. Mauricio is the most intelligent what? Engineer. Okay. He is not a student. He is not a doctor. He is not a liar. He is not a doctor. He is an engineer. Mauricio is the most intelligent engineer from all the engineers. Okay. It could be an example. Questions? Sure, Seria. El Salvador is the most small in Central America. The most, repeat the letter, por favor. Smallest. Ah, small. Nope. No es the no. most smallest. It is just one syllable. Okay, ¿quién preguntó? Michelle. Déjenla, dejemos a Michelle, dejemos a Michelle. Okay. Ah. Michelle okay. is small. It has three syllables, it has two syllables, or it has um, one syllable? One. One. Entonces, the most... Ay, cierto. Come on, para eso estamos. The most is smaller, me dijo usted. Sí, pero... Ah, sí, ya me... Corríjame, Lu. No, así. <laughs> so, how would be? ¿Cómo sería? Smaller. Tell me all the sentence. Um, El Salvador is smaller in Central America. Than. Than. <laughs> ojo, ojo, ojo. Time. Okay. Ah, ahora, lo que me acaba de hacer es Central America is a continent. Lo mismo que pasó con Lorena. Okay. So, you told me El Salvador is the smaller than in Central America, lo voy a escribir. El Salvador, uy, 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 uy. El Salvador is the smaller, esto me acaba de decir, in Central America. Y aquí todos estamos para eso, para aprender. Okay, so, in this case, um, Michelle, aquí estamos comparando o estamos utilizando un superlativo. Michelle. Superlativo. ¿Cómo? Superlativo. Excellent. Ah, and you told me it's the smaller than, me dijo. Ok, superlative. So, when it's a superlative, we don't use them. And also, we are not going to use smaller. Porque smaller is con ER, it is for comparative. Ok, smaller than, lo dijo muy bien. El smaller than está bien utilizado. But grammatical is not correct if we try to find the logic. Gramaticalmente si tratamos de encontrar la lógica. El Salvador is the smaller in Central America. Remember, no. Porque smaller se utilizaría como El Salvador is, is the smallest country uh, in one moment, Central one moment, America. One moment, one moment. Va, Lorena acaba de decir is the smaller country. Uh -huh, Termina. 
Uh -huh. El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America. Okay, continuando. No, smaller country, tampoco puede ser. Okay. No, smallest. Yes, smallest. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on, please. Okay. Thank you. Then, si ocupamos, y usted lo hizo bien, eh, Michelle, me puso aquí en la oración, me puso correctamente, es smaller than. Su confusión aquí fue que vio dos sustantivos. Usted vio Central America y vio El Salvador. Y fue así como usted se confundió. Suele pasar, perfectamente normal. But, no estamos comparando en este caso. Since Central America, okay, is El Salvador, is the, we use la palabra de, and no vamos a ocupar el den, porque no estamos comparando. The smallest, y como va después, Michelle, ¿qué sigue después de smallest, quería? Michelle? In Central America. ¿Mm? In Central America. Excelente. Permítame, Michelle. Ahora, vamos a hacer un recap de eso. Excelente, lo hizo muy bien. Pequeño detalle. Le faltó el noun. Is the smallest animal? Is it the smallest box? Is it the smallest person in Central America? In Central America? ¿Qué es El Salvador? Is a box, is an country. animal, is a... Country. ¿Ah? Country. There you go. Excellent. Ahí está. Excellent. Excellent. So that is important. Es importante prestar atención a lo que acaba de hacer, que es lo más común y este error se comete siempre. Por eso siempre hago énfasis. Tiene lógica. Es decir, El Salvador is the smallest in Central America. Por eso tenemos que especificar. El Salvador is the smallest. A veces hay gente que ustedes crean, me suele pasar, se van a otro país y no les preguntan de dónde es del Salvador. Y nunca he escuchado El Salvador. That's why we have to also specify that it's a country. It's the smallest country. Ok. ¿Se comprende? Always that you use superlative. Siempre que Teacher, dicen, yes. Teacher, I have a question. Go. El Salvador is a country. Centro America is a continent. continent. Un continent con varios países. Entonces, uh -huh. ahí opera siempre, el, porque se hablaba de aquella regla de comparar entre dos, pero dos, quizás, ciudades. Claro, se y puede. Este, y y, okay, y el, okay. Salva, el Salvador es parte de, de, comparado con un grupo de países. Correcto, correcto. Pero no, no iría esto, no iría esto. Porque anteriormente me han hecho esto. No se puede comparar. El Salvador is the smaller than in Central America. Ok. Y uh -huh. tampoco iría esto. No puede ser. Is de. Porque el de denota un. ¿Cómo le dije esto? El que se destaca. Por lo tanto, de él no tiene sentido ir acá. Y tampoco Central America. It doesn't make sense. El de. You are going to use it just for superlatives. Solo voy a utilizar por superlativos. El, el mejor. ¿Ok? No es lo mismo decir mejor que, better than, than decir el mejor. ¿Ok? So, basically it's that, right? ¿Se comprende? Now, continuando con Ana. Very good, Ana. Vamos a continuar con su ejemplo. Now, how are you going to do with comparatives? El Salvador is, Ana, ¿cómo sería si quiero comparar? Anita, Anita, Anita. ¿Cómo sería si quiero comparar eh, Panamá con El Salvador? Eh, eh, el, el Salvador eh, is eh, a smaller than Panamá. El Salvador is... Es a smaller country eh, than Panamá. No, 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 smaller country no. Lo había hecho bien. Es smaller than... Así que es, estamos. Smaller okay. than Panamá. 
porque si ocupamos el de a country, eh, ya se sabe que se está hablando como superlativo. Ok. Ok. El superlative we use the noun. En el superlativo si ocupamos, hacemos énfasis en el noun. El noun sería como un sustantivo. Ok. Smaller country. Smaller animal. Ok. Uh, most intelligent person. Ok. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. More intelligent. Yes, most intelligent person, the most intelligent, ok, person, aquí es smaller, no iría haciendo un énfasis en el sustantivo, ¿se entiende? ¿Questions? ¿No questions? No questions. Ok, now remember that also, también tenemos um, this one, that you have to memorize, yes, but... Worse uh -huh. than comparative and worst, que es el peor. Good, better than best. Por eso decimos, uh -huh. hey, you're the best. So el mejor. Ok. Far, furthest, and furthest. Ok. Tienen que memorizárselo. Aquí no existe un baddest. No existe badder. No existe baddest. No, no, no. It doesn't. No existe el gutes. Uy, uy, uy. One moment, please. I'm sorry, guys. Se está acabando la tría. I do apologize. Ok. Just one moment. I do apologize. Yes, excellent. So it doesn't, it is not gooder. Okay. It doesn't make sense to say gooder, or also it doesn't make sense to say a goodest. Solo que su gooder se me acaba de ir. rico. Okay. Goodest? No, that doesn't exist. ¿Verdad? So it will be. Just bad, worst, and worst. Good, better than, yes, and best. Okay, worse than, better than, and the other one, further than, furthest. Questions? Preguntas? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, it no, is not. Okay. Then we're going to continue with this exercise then. Vamos a hacer lo que hacemos por lo general. It's not necessary to copy all the sentences, as you know. You just have... No quiero tampoco que me pongan solo la letrita, por favor. Copy the word, at least. For example, Mount Everest is taller than mountain. A ustedes van a saber la respuesta. Our cats... Uh, the most intelligent dogs. Ustedes sabrán la respuesta, pero quiero que me la copien para que practiquen su Number one, for example, the most intelligent dogs. Ustedes saben la respuesta. Continue and do it, please. Just do it one y la respuesta. Copien la respuesta. Two y solo la respuesta. Copia completa. Okay, go ahead. One. Sí, 
that can do.
<clears throat> okay, ready? It's going to start, no, no problem, guys. Um, we're going to start from Lorena. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mount, Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. Is the tallest mountain in the world. Excellent. Because it's talking about superlative. It's the tallest one. Excellent. Very good. Anna. <clears throat> Arkad. Um, intelligent than though. Intelligent. Uh, Anita. Intelligent. Okay. ¿Cuál es la regla? Which is the rule for when it's more than two syllables? ¿Cuál es la regla para dos syllables? Dos, more, more intelligent. More intelligent. Ok, porque estamos comparando. Are cats more intelligent than dogs? Yes. Esa es la regla. Remember. Ok, from what, two to one. What do you see? Mm -hmm. More intelligent than. Excellent. Michelle. Who was the oldest person that ever lived? Excellent. How we can find out. Okay. Who was, and we're just talking about one, who was the oldest? No podemos decir old and then because we don't have any comparative. Oldest. Excellent. Very good. Tania Hernandez, continue, please. Number four. <clears throat> I think that Alicia is, is the smartest a student in our class. Excellent. The smartest because we are not comparative, we're not making a comparison between two. It is talking in general in our class. It's just one. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Jacqueline, continue with the next one. Number five. Carla says that. that uh, Carla says that she had, um, she had better, better time of her life at the party. Better, better is a comparative. ¿Con quién me lo está comparando, Jackie? Please, sorry, don't teacher. ¿Cuál sería entonces? Is the best. There you go. Is the best. Yes, because you are not making a comparison. Excellent, very good. Carlita? Number six. Yes. Mm, of course, comedians are... Uh, funnier? <clears throat> that action movie? The first one, letter A or letter B? <clears throat> letter B. Excellent. No podemos utilizar la Y. Excellent. Very good. Rosa, continue, please. Okay. Lisette, continue, please. This restaurant is bad, but the restaurant we ate at last week was worse. Excellent. Let her be worse. Linares, Marcel Linares, continue, please. Mm, what is um, the biggest country in South America? Is it Argentina or Brazil? Excellent. Esta pregunta, algunos se van a confundir. <coughs> se van a preguntar, pero ¿por qué dijo ella the biggest? Si aquí se supone que hay dos. Because here... In the pregunta, it says, what is, boom, country, okay? So, estamos hablando, y lo dice, in South America. Y lo aquí compara, ¿verdad? En este caso, aquí quedó, y quiso decir, the biggest. Excellent. Okay, let's going to continue again. Let me see. Lorena, number nine. Number nine. Antarctica is the coldest place in Earth. 
but which place is hottest? Letter A or letter B? Letter A. A. ¿Por qué la E? ¿Y por qué no letter B? Why not letter B? If it's hot. Because you have to use the consonant, vowel, consonant, and then you have to repeat the, the, all, the last consonant. The last consonant. Excellent. Para que yeah. se quedaron así pensando, it is as you say, because we have hot consonant, vowel, consonant, and we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Por lo tanto, recuerden, regla gramatical, writing, we have to double the last letter, así como dijo ella, hottest. Excellent, very good. Okay, now continue, please, Carlita. Number 10, yes. Blue Wells. Blue Wells. Okay. Are, are the largest animal that have ever lived. Okay. Why did you use are the largest and why didn't use is the largest? Porque no la say no la ve. Because animals is in plural. The wells is plural. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Lisette, continue please. Number eleven. Um, okay. Which is further from our planet? Is it the moon or the sun? Okay, the, okay, excellent. Yes, it's farther. Algunos se pensarán, ¿y por qué no? The most farthest. Because it doesn't make sense, right? The most farthest that doesn't exist. Farther, y está haciendo una comparación. Moon or the sun it is talking about comparative. Excellent, very good. Vamos a ver. Siento que alguien se escapa. Ah, Marcela Linares. Continue, Marce. Uh, Monday is usually the busiest uh, day of the week for me. Okay. Why do you use busiest? Y por qué no utilizo busier? Confía en usted. Because, eh, because it's a uh, superlative. Excellent. Now, is it letter A, Marce, or is it letter B? Uh, is the letter B. Okay. I'm sorry just to ask. Y prestamos atención por qué letter B in no letter A. Uh, because... The uh, finish uh, if we have a uh, what? Excellent. Um, we replace, or como se dice, reemplazamos yes. la Y por ahí. Yes, replace. Excellent. Because we omit or replace the Y by the I E S T. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Now, the next one, Jackie. Okay. For the say the good ring, ring was um was expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, than the silver ring. So is it letter A, B, or C? Mm -hmm. Letter B. Okay. Now, usted. Sí, tiene razón porque dice, uh, está comparando, tiene que decir expensive. Es correcto que está comparando. But, remember about the rule of the syllables. Expensive. Okay, so we have there three syllables. Expensive. Yes, three syllables. So you won't say expensive. Okay, mm -hmm. it's cheap, barato. Yes, it will be this, cheaper. But expensive, since it has two syllables to up, you are going to use 
more expensive. Okay. You see? More to comparative, more for superlative, talking about when two or more syllables. Expensive. Por lo tanto, sería nuevamente more expensive. We're going to continue with Lisette. 14, ¿verdad? Yes, 14, please. Okay. I really had the worst day of my entire life yesterday. ¿Y por qué no baddest? Porque no aplica la regla de que bad is worse. Excellent, very good. Is there a regular that you had to memorize? Lo que habíamos dicho, no existen esos. Excellent, very good. Uh, let me see. Anita, number 15. Uh, Thomas is the youngest person in all family. Why isn't the most youngest? ¿Por qué no sería the most, the most youngest? En sus palabras, dime. Eh, youngest eh, es tu sílaba. Eh, eh, yes, is. Eh, There you go. You got it. You got it. Com, yes. Com, com, okay. Comparativo es de alguien con un grupo. Okay. Okay. I got it. Le entendí la idea. Yes. It's because we're using person y está comparándolo en toda la familia. Bueno, haciéndolo respecto, um, destacándolo en toda la familia. Okay, so is it Thomas? Yes, is the youngest. Excellent, very good. Porque no existe the most. The most youngest, it doesn't exist. Excellent. There you go. Let me see, let me see. Carlita, the last one. I think vanilla ice cream is good, but chocolate ice cream is better I, I letter B. Okay, and why not letter A? Por qué no letra A? But it's not correct, better that. But why? Pero ¿por qué en sus palabras? En sus palabras, tranquila. Mm. ¿Por qué no el better than? O oh, sí, ¿verdad? Porque está comparando. Ahorita vamos. Le está comparando. Ok, pero, yeah. pero, but it's, chocolate it's, ice cream is, it is a better, pero ¿por qué no better than? Porque el better than iría conectado y no hay otro conectado después. So it would be better, está bien, está correcto. El then nos ayuda a conectar dos, ok. So in that case it would okay. be vanilla ice cream is good, but chocolate ice cream is better that, uh, than what? Oh my goodness, I forgot how the carrito. I don't know. It would be like, like lime, lemon, lemon uh, ice cream. Better than lemon ice cream. Mm -hmm. Marañón, marañón creo que es. Yes, el que venden otro marañón. Okay, sorbete marañón creo que es. Well, um, basically is that question. It's correct letter B. Better, yes, it's a correct letter B. Okay. No es okay. marañón, sáquenme de la duda, los que son aciditos, que venden los, los, los sorbetes esos, y que son... Marraya. ¿Ah? Marraya. Marraya. Hay otros. Tamarindo. Tamarindo. Ah, bueno, yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Porque cuando una duda no la puedo sacar. Yes, thank you. Okay, and in this case, she say better, porque no tenemos un comparativo aquí. At least if it says, but chocolate ice cream is better than tamarindo ice cream. Ahí sería diferente, pero como se quedó aquí, it's better, hasta ahí terminó. And gooder, it doesn't exist, ¿verdad? Questions? 
No, it's okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, let me see. One moment, please. One moment, I do apologize. Yes, it will be this one. Vamos a ver quién me hace una de aquí. Number 10. Desafortunadamente, or team, nuestro equipo. Didn't win. Didn't win. ¿Por qué, Tania? Eh, because eh, it's the past and Next. it's deep is the auxiliar. Excellent, because in the past. And the verb is in the base. Excellent. Did not or didn't win. Excellent. ¿Quién me va con la esta? ¿Quién me ayuda con esta? A ver si quiero ver qué la hacen. If I find a good job, I will move to Maria. Excellent. I found excellent. Very good because it's an irregular. ¿Quién me hace? Qué rápida son ustedes, chicas. Okay. Number 12. ¿Quién me la hace? He, oh, I'm sorry. Aquí se me fue una. Ok. O si no elijan una y me la hacen. Por ejemplo, es el 15 teacher. He's Six. working. Uh -huh. He's working. He's quiet. ¿Alguien? He, he meets uh -huh. uh -huh. his wife when he works in Praga. When he, uh -huh. when, aquí well, when he works. When he works. Que yo hablamos de esto. Que hablamos con el buen. ¿Qué pasa con el buen? Two actions simultaneously. He met his wife when. He met his wife when he was working. He worked. When he was working. He was working. Yes. De aquí a poquito, poquito vamos armando. Yes, he was working. Excellent. Vamos a ver si la terminamos. ¿Quién se anima? Number 13. Vamos rápido. Mm -hmm. Okay, my father goes to the bank. My father is going to the bank. Mm -hmm. My father went to the bank. Excellent. <laughs> yes, excellent. My father went. Okay, porque hoy se fue. He'll back soon. Excellent. ¿Qué me hace la 14? What did it? What did they at night last night? Yes. What did they do? What did? Porque estamos utilizando uh, did as an auxiliary, they as a subject, and do is nuestro verbo, the base form. Excellent. Number 15. Se mantiene. I usually listen to the news. Listen. I usually listen because it's talking simple present. And usually, have it. Excellent. Number 16. My student didn't listen. Yes, didn't because in the past. When I gave, excellent. No. My students. Porque va el buen. Don't, don't listen. Aquí hay un pasado. Actually, we're not listening. We're not listening. Excellent. We're not listening. Excellent. Number seven. John spoke. <laughs> Excellent, very good. 18. Soon it means pronto. One is my brother won't arrive soon. Doesn't arrive. Doesn't arrive. There you go, guys. Excellent. Ladies, porque ahorita no hay niños ni siquiera. Mujeres empoderadas, chicas. Excellent. Very good. Very good. That's amazing. I'm proud. It's a team, the girls, excellent. Well, so this will be the last day. Cualquier cosa se contactan con los de, con ellos, ¿verdad? No, no les puedo dar ninguna, pero lo que sí les puedo decir es que tienen que terminar con el 80%.
no sé cómo están ustedes, pero tienen que terminar al menos con el 80% y este es su último día para terminarlo. So, it was a pleasure to meet you. Fue un placer conocerlos. So, I hope to see you next time or, well, I don't know exactly. Me too, teacher. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye, ladies. Bye, teacher. Good night.